weightlifter. When I was 41 years old, I could bench press 545 pounds, deadlift 625, and I squatted 550. That is what you call a 725 pound triple. What was amazing about this accomplishment is my body weight was only 220 pounds. <laughs> my wife, Randy, was only 100, 140 pounds when she squatted 205 pounds at the age of 37. It even amazes me to this day that I actually benched and squatted 2.5 times my body weight and deadlifted almost three times my body weight. If there is one thing I have learned from my, weight, from my weightlifting achievements is that I made it to the top by doing a few things right. The first thing I did was I challenged myself every day as I worked out every single day. I knew that muscles only grow and get stronger if you work them till they fail. Weightlifting is perhaps the only sport where you succeed by failing every day. My wife and I decided to go into network marketing. We knew that our eventual success could only be achieved through overcoming obstacles, making mistakes, failing once in a while. This is why we brought our powerlifting training philosophy, philosophy and attitude with us when we started our network marketing business. Your muscles grow and get stronger by doing more than you think you can do. This happens through persistence and, determ and a determined effort. In network marketing, your attitude, passion, enthusiasm, determination gets stronger and grows through persistent effort and by doing more than you think you can. Network marketing is, is not about being in the right place at the right time. It's about being everywhere all the time. It's not about luck. It's about hard work and overcoming self-limiting attitudes, beliefs, perceptions, and learning from mistakes, adversity, difficulty, disappointment. Network marketing is not about small steps and simply trying. It's about quantum leaps and doing. What is luck? One thing's for sure, if you don't succeed at something the first time, that's luck. If you don't succeed at something the first time, that's luck. I'm saying that again. <laughs> when Randy and I first jumped into network marketing, we asked many network marketers who had quit the business many probing questions. We developed our business strategy and our course of action as a result of the answers we received. Our record-breaking strategy was, number one, teaching our distributors to get prepared and ready for their business by encouraging them to let go and learning from their past mistakes and organizing themselves. Number two, teaching our distributors the importance of having a companion to work with. Number three, teaching our distributors to overcome the fear of talking to people, the biggest killer of a network marketing professional. Number four, encouraging our distributors to educate themselves about their company, products, and compensation plan, as well as about the people that work in the industry. Number five, teaching our distributors to learn from disappointment and discouragement. Number six, teaching our distributors to avoid distraction. Number seven, teaching our distributors to reject rejection and to learn and grow from it. Number eight, teaching our distributors to avoid selling products. Customers are sick and tired of being sold. They want to be convinced. They want to be amazed with passion, enthusiasm, and your product knowledge. Number nine, teaching our distributors to focus on their purpose, their mission, and not the commission. Number 10, teaching our distributors to always focus on the mission, and the commission will always follow. Number 11, teaching our distributors the power of listening, asking questions, and having patience with people. Number 12, teaching our distributors to follow through effectively. Failure is easy, just quit. Rejection, adversity, challenges are always going to be there. Accept them as learning and growing experiences. Then challenge yourself even more. God allows you to fall so you can pick yourself up and try again. You will never fear failure as long as you are determined never to fail. Do more than is expected of you. Success or failure is a head game that can always be conquered if you make every effort to overcome and learn from the, your past mistakes and win the game. If you believe that there are restrictions and limits on your talents and abilities, you better clear your head and get those thoughts out of it. You will always find yourself bumping into obstacles and potholes, and you will make many mistakes on your journey to success. These are all wonderful things to be grateful for. Mistakes are wonderful to be grateful for. Obstacles are wonderful to be grateful for. Obstacles and even, 
even failing once in a while, are easily overcome. If you don't quit, quitting is complete and absolute. Unconditional quitting is unconditional failure and must be avoided and circumvented at all costs. Quitting is absolutely unconditional confirmation of what you perceive to be your limitations. Quitting reinforces your sense of ostensible incompetence. Failing once in a while is like making mistakes once in a while. Failing is not failure if you don't quit. Your passion and your talents will always grow through your persistence, determination, and effort, especially when you recognize failure as a wonderful opportunity to learn, to improve yourself and grow stronger. Distributors like yourself that have a growth attitude never place limitations on what they can do, especially when you're learning from rejection, mistakes, and disappointments. Failing is only a temporary circumstance or event. Quitting is what makes failing lasting and permanent. If you are a distributor with an optimistic mindset, then you will use rejection, mistakes, disappointment, and failure as fuel to propel yourself onward and forward. The optimist enthusiastically speaks about their future because they have let go of their past. The pessimist often speaks of their past because they haven't seized their future. You have to be incisive and perceptive about timing. That is when you choose to challenge yourself. Don't ever be afraid to push the envelope and take a risk. It is so very important to know that taking a risk, making mistakes, failing is how you grow and succeed. It's how you become stronger. Taking a risk and failing is a marvelous opportunity to lift yourself higher than you ever thought possible. If you always do what you've always done, you will always be what you've always been, and you will never, ever be what you could have been. Understand that working as hard as you possibly can and by going the extra mile are the keys to maximizing your potential and achieving the success you are looking for. If you want to experience excellence, challenge yourself above and beyond your ability and your capability. It's okay to struggle sometimes. Building muscles, becoming strong hurts because you push yourself to failure. Building your business takes effort, hard work, and the same amount of pushing. You have to push yourself beyond what you perceive as your limitations. <laughs> Two prisoners looking at the same set of barred doors. One sees bars to contain him, the other sees a challenge to liberate him. <laughs> I have rubbed shoulders with some of the most successful business owners in the world. People who earn billions of dollars, not millions. I have spoken from the stage all over the world to thousands of business people, and I have heard and learned from many. Knowledge is knowing what has to be done. Talent is knowing you can do it. Skill is knowing how to get it done, and your passion and purpose gets it done. One thing that I have found is that the most prominent business people failed half the time, yet they never quit. Most veterans of network marketing that I have talked to tell me that they failed half the time. Also, but remember, leaders never quit, and quitters never get the opportunity to lead. An hour of study every day and talking to 10 people a day, every day, will ensure your success. It'll ensure your success in anything you do. The greatest tragedy in network marketing is people quitting, never realizing how close they were to succeeding. <laughs> no matter how hard you study, how hard you work, how many calls you make, or how many people you talk to, you can always do more. Many wish for it, only a few work for it. Just like lifting weights, work those muscles to failure every day and you can literally watch them grow and become stronger. Work your business with the same commitment, determination and strength of mind and purpose and you can literally watch your business grow beyond your wildest dreams. All growth and progress depends upon your effort. Effort is spelt hard work. And I know that you're all here today because you are committed to hard work. I'm committed to helping you and serving you. I love what I do, I do what I love. I serve those I love, and I love those I serve. 
I've given you a lot of wonderful nuggets today. Use them in your business and watch your business grow. Thank you so much. I'm Tony Escobar. Thank you.